What is going on? Welcome to episode 144 of the Nintendo Powercast. I'm your host, N64Josh, on this NPC Mini. That music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. And if you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Pick up something awesome like maybe the Game of Thrones books or Ready Player One. So many good books there. You also get two free Audible originals. So it's a total of three books. So go check that out. Audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. If you uh, go to n64josh.com slash OPC, you automatically save $10 at checkout. I love, love Love, love these gaming chairs. I sit in the Grandmaster, and they also have the Master. The difference is the size. The Grandmaster is for, for larger people. So there you go. They're both Cadillac chairs, so check them out. That's n64josh.com slash OPC. And lastly, I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to get an extra podcast for just a dollar a month, you can go to patreon.com slash n64josh. Let's get to the announcements. Hey! Listen. I do this show live on twitch.tv slash n64josh, Tuesdays at 6, Thursdays it's looking like 4, uh, about 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern, I guess that would be. So there you go. If you want to come hang out and check it out live on Twitch, that's when we're doing it. Every day, my new streaming schedule, I start at 3 p.m. Pacific, Monday through Thursday. So 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, I am streaming on Twitch for about two and a half, uh, three hours, give or take. And, you know, we're doing some Smash Bros. We did some Diablo. And, uh... So we're having, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. We also just hang out during the, uh, um, during like Thursdays. I kind of just chat with you guys while I get the show notes ready and whatnot. So that's, uh, that's also pretty fun. So, so come check it out sometime. I would uh, I'd love to see it. Fridays. We still have our first looks. They're starting around six, 7 AM Pacific standard time. I'm not quite sure. I've been trying to get up early and hit the gym on Friday morning. So it'll just depend on, uh, um, what time I roll out, but it won't be any later than seven. So that's uh, that's what we're shooting for. And this week we do have a handful of games that we're going to be looking at. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Quite a few indies, and uh, we'll probably take a just a quick look at Diablo, even though I've played a ton of it already. But it'll uh, it'll still be fun. So uh, with that, we have a lot of news. So we're going to jump into it. <laughs> All right. Well, I've had a few questions from from the chat and whatnot. People wondering, hey, what is the best deal on a Switch this holiday season? And so far, the best deal that I know is going to be at Best Buy and Target is the Mario Kart bundle. It's going to be two ninety nine, and it comes with Mario Kart for free. So there you go. That's your that's your best. Um, Switch holiday bundle as of right now. Black Friday, there could be there could be some other sales and things like that we're just not quite aware of yet. I do know that Walmart has a handful of uh, Switch titles on sale on Black Friday. I don't currently have that list in front of me. I will try to make sure I get it and we'll have it for you guys next week. But Walmart does have some Switch games going on sale, so keep that in mind. Um, Because sometimes, especially the first party Switch games, sometimes we don't always get to see those go on sale and there was a a couple of them. So um, keep an eye out for that. If you want to do a little more than just game on your Switch, maybe you want to watch some YouTube, guess what? Now you can. That is now available in the eShop. You can can install the YouTube app and watch right on your Switch. So I'm I'm hearing a little bit of mixed reviews. Some people are saying it works better than the the app on their televisions. Other people are like, eh, it works okay. You know, you're only going to be 720p handheld, so keep that in mind if that's a big deal for you. But... uh, um, you know, for some people, it's a little bigger screen than their phone, so they're like, hey, this is cool. So there you go. But YouTube finally made it to the Switch. This is kind of exciting. We were talking about this on uh, in the Discord. Nintendo is recruiting for a new, uh, a new 3D Legend of Zelda game. So all we have is speculation at this point. Nothing has been announced but they're doing some recruiting. So what are we getting? I kind of went off on a little, uh, a little tangent myself or a little, like little, like little wish list. Maybe you could say I was, uh, I would love to see Zelda do something that we haven't seen from the series at all. And they were making fun of me in discord, of course, because that's, uh, that's what they do. And, But I think it would be great if we got to see a storyline in the new Zelda game that has Ganon going back in time 
to the other the other games and going back to those games with their their dated graphics and maybe changing the outcome you know so link doesn't defeat ganon because maybe he gives them some kind of an item and then we've got to chase him through time through those games to maybe deliver uh that a a, a an item that can counter that item you know to the other links you know i don't know something kind of fun i don't know that i want to see the whole game based like that maybe just something that was more uh, like a single dungeon that took us back to a few different areas things like that so uh just just something a little different and because odyssey did such a great job with the 8-bit throwback stuff throwback stuff i would love to see zelda do something similar because there's 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 like a rich history there of just amazing games so I would love to see just a little nod or something, just just a little throwback, but uh, who knows? Fingers crossed, we are going to be getting a Zelda title before um, the next console, and if it's if if history repeats itself, when Zelda released on the Wii, as it was a port, the Twilight Princess released on the Wii, we did end up seeing Skyward Sword made specifically for that system. So technically all we have right now is a port of a Zelda game. Maybe, maybe we still get a brand new game for the Switch, brand new Zelda game. So, you know, fingers crossed. Anyway, speaking of Twilight Princess, Nintendo secures a trademark for Zelda Twilight Princess and Wii Sports Resort for home download and smartphone. So there's not really any information on what this is, but adding smartphone to the mix is, is a little bit strange. Kind of has some people wondering what's going on there. I mean, after seeing what, what Nintendo has been doing with some of these mobile games, I, I think they could pull off a, a Zelda game on, on mobile. Do people want that? I don't, I don't really know. I know they don't want Diablo. We learned that this week. <laughs> so um, Wii Sports on mobile. I don't know. It sounds like a good way to break your phone, but, uh, you know, that's just me. So don't really know what's going on there. We know Nintendo oftentimes keeps those, those trademarks up to date just so that they, um, do not lose, lose control of those properties. So that is that, uh, Nintendo has already selected five DLC fighters for smash bros. Ultimate. Like they've already been picked, which means guys, I'm sorry. If you were looking forward to this, we won't be voting. <laughs> we won't be voting to see who's going to be uh, DLC. So, you know, that's... If you were looking forward to it, I know... <laughs> the chat says, rip Goku and smash. Um, I know everybody would have voted for Waluigi. So... Uh, <laughs> Kirby Geek says, Nintendo learned to hate democracy. There you go. There you go. So that's that's how it went. That's how it. That's how it's. Uh, that's how it's going down. We don't get to vote this time. They're they're choosing for us. But so who's it gonna be? That's the real question. Are we gonna see Gino? I know a lot of people want Gino. A lot of people want Banjo, um, Banjo Kazooie, right? Uh, that leak got me really inter interested in in seeing something like Mock Rider, like totally out of left field. What would that move set be? What would it look like? who knows who knows that one's not happening but because i like geeked out on that game as a kid i was like oh that's a that's a that's a black box you know that's a that's a throwback there so i don't know gonna be waluigi gonna be rex gonna be uh spring man not spring boy <laughs> who knows are we gonna see trophies get turned into fighters we don't know we don't know so I'm honestly surprised there's only five. Uh, Sniper3300 says, Battletoads, join the fight. That'd be amazing. Uh, if you guys, and some of you may know this already, if not, Battletoads are in Killer Instinct on the Xbox One, if uh, if that's something you're interested in checking out. So, um, yeah. They've already got them. They've got the five fighters already picked out. So, 
Also speaking of Smash, 8-Bit Do is creating a wireless GameCube controller adapter that also has the the Wii port built into it. So it's basically just this little, um, it, it, it kind of just looks like a small blue Twinkie, honestly. And you can plug a GameCube controller into one end or a it has the Wii port. So you could plug in like, there are an, I have a number of like GameCube controllers that um, that just plug into the back of the Wii remote. That's what this this plug is. And I know there's a term for it. I just, it, I, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head so um that's pretty cool for on the go to be able to play with the gamecube controller it is only 19.99 it's not not too bad and uh um like i told chat earlier like i'm totally just gonna hook my wave bird up to this thing so i can go double wireless because you know um <laughs> that's just that's what's gotta happen we're going double wireless with this thing so uh but yeah, there are other ways to play with the GameCube controller. You can get the new kickstand for tabletop mode, or that stand for tabletop mode, and then you can get a an adapter that hooks into USB uh, C to the, the regular size USB. And then you can hook your um, your game your GameCube controller adapter up to that, and then plug your GameCube controller in and play. So, you know, there are ways around this, uh, but you know. We uh, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the double wireless and get that wave bird out there. Okay, that's what uh, that's what we're going with. So um, let's see here. Pokemon Go made seventy three million in October. That that's crazy. That's not a small number. I'm still like totally up in the air on how P let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee are going to do like I have, I have no clue I have no clue how this game's going to do worldwide but if that's any indicator the 73 million man I think it could be a huge game I think it could be a huge game Delmonic from the chat says I contributed to that <laughs> Sniper says all these attachments remind me of the GBA Advance days, or yeah, Game Boy Advance days. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, but yeah, I still wonder. I'm just like, how you know? How do you? I want to hear from you guys. Tweet at me at n64josh. How do you think uh, Pokemon Go is gonna do? Let's go. I'm sorry. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. You think it's gonna do well? It's we got just a, basically a week away, and uh, we'll be playing it. I'm I'm kind of excited to jump into it. I don't know how long I'll stick with it, but I am excited to jump into it. So we'll see. We will see. Illumination. Uh, their founder says that the Mario animated movie is embracing Miyamoto's creative voice. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm when I hear that, like part of me gets excited and part of me gets nervous because <laughs> like when I think about certain games, like Star Fox Zero, like that game was that game was no no go, right? No good. And so, like, hopefully, it's going to just stay true to the 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 Mario lore, and we're not going to get another like Super Mario Bros. Like you know the <laughs> the movie from the '90s. That was no that was that was no good, no good. And. Uh, even like the the Super Mario Bros. Super Show things like that. Some of that stuff's kind of like what? Some of these characters. What is this? Why are things? You know what's going on here? So hopefully it just kind of stays true and tells a tells a good story that'll be um, great for uh, um, for the younger generations. That's really who I'm looking out for here, right? Chat knows, and uh, no Bowsette will not be in this movie chat that is not that is not gonna happen <laughs> so really just for the younger generation we want to see this movie be uh, be everything it can be but uh, so fingers crossed that this is going to be a good thing that uh, you know embracing Miyamoto's creative voice will will help make the movie um, more what we're wanting so uh, Kirby Geek said pre-ordered tickets canceled uh oh uh oh and uh Lastly, Kirby Star Allies will be receiving its third and final update on November 30th. And I got uh, an article from MyNintendoNews.com. I'm going to give you some details here. Let's see. Um, the third and final major update on the 30th of November will include new Dream Friends, 
uh, Magalore, uh, Taranza, Susie, and much more. The biggest feature is the Another Dimension Heroes mode, which is unlocked by completing the main story. It involves Kirby and his lovable friends passing batons through various dimensions and is geared to be a difficult challenge mode. Um, there will also be another bosses. Uh, there will also be another bosses, which is exceedingly tough. Okay, so uh, there you go. That's going to be the third and final update for that game. It's kind of weird. That's one of those games that, like, yeah, I know it came out this year. I know I played all the way through it, but like. It feels like it's been a, like a really long time, you know, like it's been out for longer than, than uh, you know, 10 months or whatever it's been. And so, or not even 10 months, like seven months. It, it But it, it's one of those games that just feels like it's been around forever. Cool to see they're still supporting it. Last update will be November 30th. So um, with that, we're going to jump into the uh, some of my, my Instagram nostalgia posts. Here we go. All right. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I've kind of been a little bit of a slacker. It's it's just things have been things have been busy, and so I haven't got as many posts up as I would like. If you do want to see me dunking random people on Instagram with Mario and Smash, that's uh, that's happening on a regular basis. Um, but this week I did post a fo- photo of the new Super Mario Bros on the DS and. Uh, didn't uh, didn't see too many comments on this one, but I got to give a shout out to my boy Jay Harley, seventeen. It says this is my f- this was my first game on DS, was almost done, lost my save file save file, and have barely touched it since. <laughs> so <laughs> so there you go. Not uh, not too many comments on this one. I really enjoyed this game. When this game first came out, I was super hyped about it, and I could not stop playing it. Like, couldn't stop playing it. And Snake Eyes is saying, I love the mini games in New Super Mario Bros. You know what? I'm fairly certain that, uh, yeah, I believe that the mini games in this, I used to play with my with my daughters and my wife all the time. There was, like, certain mini games where, like, you had the... Uh, um, you you have the heads of different characters like kind of floating around so it was like all these luigis and then it was like pick out wario and boom you'd see wario and you got to hit him with your stylus uh different different little mini games like that we used to play we used to play those a lot and i know those mini games were also on the uh the mario 64 that came out on the ds so snake eyes is saying the bomb sorting one I vaguely remember that. I don't remember a lot of those games, but I, I do vaguely remember that. So, um, yeah, totally crazy. That th- I almost wonder if that game got more time playing those mini games than actually playing through, um, playing through it. But I mean, I'm just looking at the looking at the artwork here, like seeing the giant Mario just crushing the stages and whatnot. Like it was it was pretty cool. It was uh, a very enjoyable experience, and it, I was very happy to get back into. Uh, into a side-scrolling um, Mario game, that is for sure. So remember, follow me on Instagram to see these posts and to post your comments, and you never know when they might get read on the show. So I think with that, we're gonna wrap things up. Uh, nope, I forgot. We st- we're just we're half we're halfway done. What am I doing? I hit the flagpole. We're not done. I scrolled through my notes, and guess what? We still have the sales and the downloads. Yeah, we're not done yet, but we're gonna do them quick. That was the f- that was the fake flagpole. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the downloads for um, the eighth of November, North America, SNK fortieth anniversary collection. It's coming out Tuesday, uh, the thirteenth, thirty nine ninety nine. There's uh, there's a lot of games in this and. I I'm excited to jump into this one. Chat was saying that wasn't a flagpole. It was just, uh, it was just a checkpoint. Very true. Very true. Okay. Um, Taiko Tatsujin. I don't know if I said that right. Drum and fun. Drum and fun. I have no idea how to say that right. I know Kirby's shaking her head right now. Um, anybody else can tweet at me for saying it wrong. Shoot me an email actually. Uh, Shake the Joy-Con controller using the drumstick grip. So 
there you go. This is a rhythm game. And Siberia 1 and 2 finally making their way to retail in the uh, in North America because they've been they've been out in other um, in other locations. So um, so there you go. That's retail. Now let's get to the eShop. <laughs> Guys, this list. This list is so long. We're going to go through it pretty quick, though. All right, here we go. Uh, Crashlands is out today. Um, Neo Geo um, Pleasure Goal 5 on 5 Mini Soccer um, came out uh, last Thursday. Uh, Ace Breed, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I'm really thinking about picking this one up to play tomorrow for first look. It is like a... Uh, it is a shmup... That's kind of, let's see what it says here. The game features vertical scrolling, side scrolling, and rail shooter perspectives, all seamlessly integrated alongside each other. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about this one. We'll see. I saw a Super Nintendo had posted a video, and I'm, I'm on his Twitter, and it, it really, really sold me. So I'm really looking forward to, to checking that one out. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull the trigger. Uh, Battlezone Gold Edition is out today uh chalk dash carnival is coming out the 14th uh collide a lot is coming out uh the 9th um demetrios the big cynical adventure is out monday december 3rd so i don't know why that's <laughs> okay that's that's cool it's supposed to be for this week but whatever elemental knights are uh is coming out it it's already out. Okay. Forgotten Anne is out tomorrow. Grim Fandango remastered came out last Thursday out of the blue, out of the blue. Uh, they're, they're mocking me in chat for almost ending the podcast halfway through. Yeah. Uh, we, I, I just needed to keep scrolling on my notes, you know, my bad, my bad. Uh, Johnny turbos arcade breakthrough will be, uh, is out today. Uh, also, Johnny Turbo's Arcade Night Slashers out today. Uh, Mecha Nika, looks like, is how you say it. Um, or, or Mecha Nika, maybe? I don't know. Um, that one is out today as well, Five ninety nine. Mercenary Wings, The False Phoenix, out today. So many games, guys. Uh, this, is for, this is for Eric, guys. My Riding Stables, Life with Horses. Life, life with horses. Tuesday, November thirteenth. We'll be waiting on. We got to get him streaming that on Twitch. Okay. Uh, Nor Chronicles: City of Crime is coming out November 9th. Operation Pig uh, was out yesterday. Palm Reading Premium coming the fourteenth. Uh, Picture Painting Puzzle One Thousand is out today. Project High Rise Architects Edition coming Tuesday. Rage in Peace is a side-scrolling adventure game that tells the story of Timmy Malinu, uh, an emotionally numb 27-year-old actuary who only has one dream that sets him apart from most people, to die asleep in his pajamas in, a, in the warmth of his home in peace with no drama. <laughs> what? There you go. Rage in Peace out today, twelve ninety nine. Uh, more than likely, Mel's going to be playing that one and let us know how it how it is on Tuesday. Um, Road Redemption. All right, that's uh, that's out. Uh, came out on Tuesday. Roar Jurassic Edition came out Wednesday. Saboteur Shadow of Loot Box was out Tuesday. Saboteur's out the ninth. Skyforce Anniversaries out today. Solitaire came out Tuesday. The Bug Butcher is out today. Is an action, uh, action-packed 2D side-scrolling shoot 'em up uh, where peril comes from above. All right. The Walking Vegetables Radical Edition out today. Timber Tennis versus. Do we already need another another uh, 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 tennis game? I don't know. Do we? Do we? I'm not sure. Uh, Townsman coming out tomorrow. And Varian out today. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's, guys, so many games. So many games. I don't have the exact number here, but it is crazy. It is crazy. Okay. So uh, now let's get to the sales, all right? 
I hit the right button this time. All right, so here we go. Two minutes of sales. We're doing this one quick. Ready? Uh, Mace Space Shooter. It's coming out the 15th. All right, it's $3.99 right now. Chalk Dash Carnival coming out the 14th. Some of these have pre-purchase, right? Uh, looks like the Walking Vegetables Radical Edition also has a pre-purchase. So uh, it's the sale's still on. You can get it for 10 Ten thirty nine instead of twelve ninety nine. All right, the shape shifting detective, Halloween pinball, um, Johnny's Arcade Heavy Burger, Wander Song, which is uh, one that that Mel really liked. She recommends seventeen ninety nine. It's two dollars off right now. Okay, Shikondo uh, Soul Eater is four seventy five down from thirteen ninety nine. Nineteen seventy nine Revolution Black Friday Pool Panic Runbo is seven forty nine. I, I believe some people are pretty into that game. So. Um, it's half off right now. Dream Alone, Figment, Ink, Die for Valhalla, The Adventures of Elena Temple is $1.99. Kind of looks like a Game Boy game. All right, Hyper Sentinel. Bouncy Bob is $0.14. Cents. <laughs> I didn't really like Bouncy Bob that much, but it's $0.14. Cents. So if you want something to try for $0.14, cents, Bouncy Bob is your choice. Uh, Save the Ninja Clan is $1.49. It's spring again. Deep Ones, Typo Man. Type of man actually looks pretty cool. It's uh, it's only about a dollar thirty off right now, but it still looks kind of cool. Uh, Black hole, tales of the tiny planet, the coma recut, brawl outs nine ninety nine right now. If you're looking to practice some smash, and you don't have a Wii U or a three DS, uh, brawl out may be a way to do that. Uh, bleed, tennis in the face. Slain Back from Hell, Nine Parchments, Serial Cleaner, Letter Quest Remastered, Time Recoil, Super Ping Pong Trick Shot, The Flame in the Flood Complete Edition is $7.49, Tumblestone, Butcher $4.99, Light Spear, uh, Double Spear Edition, and The Bridge. Whoa, whoa, the sales were short. The sales were short. <laughs> Insert Reggie tap and wrist gif. Nice, nice. Well played. All right. Well, hey, now, now the sales are done. Let's wrap this thing up. All right, guys, you will be able to follow me on Twitter at N64Josh. You can follow this show at the N Powercast. The show notes for this episode are available at N64Josh.com slash NPC. 144. You want to email the show? You got questions, comments, don't like the way I say Pokemon? <laughs> NPC at n64josh.com. I still love that email, by the way. I laughed forever. So thank you for sending that, Scott. I appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Check out something great. There's so many good, good books. Um, Ready Player One, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels is another one. Like, there's so many great books out there. So go go, go check one out. That's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in from OPC. Go to n64josh.com slash OPC. You automatically save $10 at checkout and it helps support the show. So I appreciate it. And lastly, if you want to help support this show with just a dollar a month, you get yourself an extra show. Uh, it's patreon.com slash n64josh. You want to join our Discord? Come hang out with some super cool people n64josh.com slash discord we also have a facebook group go to n64josh.com slash facebook group and if you guys have a second you can rate and review on itunes we greatly 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 appreciate it and guys i don't know what happened this week uh, the downloads for the nintendo powercast literally shot through the roof so if you're brand new to the show you've just started listening thank you so much we're really glad to have you. If you happen to share this show somewhere, like, I don't even know where, maybe in a Discord, Reddit, something, thank you so much, because literally, we've never had more downloads than we did on Sunday. It was the highest download day the show has ever had, so thank you guys uh, for that. I do, I do greatly appreciate it. And if you do, if you don't mind, do share this show. Take a screenshot of your of your phone if you're listening on the go or whatever. Post it on your social media. Post it on your Instagram, whatever. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. So I do want to say thanks to the chat for being here with me live. Delmonic, Captain Logan, Pudding, Kirby Geek, Sniper3300, 
Anybody else that's just lurking? I see Snake Eyes, Inky Squid. Guys, everybody that's here, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. You guys are the best. You are really the best. So if you're just listening to the audio, thank you for that. If you're checking us out on YouTube, thanks for watching. And uh, guys, we're going to see you Tuesday. I think we're going to have the the gang should, should all be here again. So I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Take it easy.